Okay, ladies, if we can kind of settle down a little bit, we'll get this meeting started. First off, uh, good morning and thank you for joining the 2023 planning meeting. Uh, as you know, I like to have these meetings so we can talk about our upcoming plans and make sure that we're all on the same page with regard to where we're headed with this operation. Uh, for those of you that are newbies, um, glad to have you. Thank you for joining us and uh, hope you enjoy your, your time with us. I do have a safety topic here that I want to talk about. Uh, it is springtime and I know all the neighbors are going to want to put out their pesticides and stuff like that. So um, be selective as to the yards and fields that you visit this year. You know, people still don't know, so they're going to keep doing what they do and we're just going to try and survive, okay? Uh, again, be careful with where you, where you visit. Next point is please, please, please try and refrain from swarming. I know it's an early season. I know that everybody's trying to build up really fast. Queens, you're doing a fantastic job. Just keep doing what you're doing. We'll manage the rest of it. We'll try and reduce the crowding as much as we can. We will, um, you know, we'll build, buy, borrow. Uh, we'll do whatever we can to get you the room that you need to keep doing what you're doing. Queens, keep going. Um, we will try our best to get splits in place and knock you guys down just a little mm -hmm. bit with population, get you, as, get you as much room as we can. We don't want you swarming before, you, before it's time uh, for the honey flow. So with that in mind, um, just please be patient. It's still early in the season. Nature threw us a, a curveball this year. Started about three or four weeks early with the whole spring thing. Everybody got caught off guard. At any rate, keep doing what you're doing. We'll try and manage. So uh, next I want to talk about some goals for the year. Some of you have actually, we've already changed out a lot of you with new equipment. I hope you're enjoying that. We've got plenty of it. Just move in, you know, make it home. Mikasa, Yukasa, right? Okay. Um, like we were talking about with the spring buildup, it looks like spring is going to be here uh, early. It, we're just going to keep right on going. And everybody's going to pretend that this is normal. Not to worry, though. Uh, we have the room. We were just talking about all the equipment. So we have the room to expand you guys that aren't able to stay in one colony into another colony. And we've got plenty of room here in the apiary. So if you feel the need um to expand that much we'll just we'll move you into a new hive and if worse comes to worse we run out of space or somebody really really wants to uh to get some bees this year we'll we'll make some accommodations for new beekeepers to start we need to talk to the new queens about their mating flights i know it's tempting but you got to stay away from the bad boys i know they're hunky and you know but we don't need those aggressive traits here in the in the yard. So please just uh, stay away from the hunky ones, okay? We don't need that aggression. Honey is our goal. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, the demand is up for local raw honey. We're probably going to run out this year. Um, I'm not surprised given the number of people that are becoming more aware of the health benefits. It's just... It's just what it is. As word spreads about the benefits and, you know, realizing it's a nectar of the gods and things of that nature, it's becoming more and more popular, and rightfully so. Um, we just have to rise to the demand, that's all. On a little bit of sad news, we will be collecting a little bit of pollen this year, something we haven't done before. Um, We'll see how it goes. I got some little traps that we'll put on the doors. If you guys will deposit the little bits of pollen that you collect all day into those little traps, we'll come by and pick it up and um, we'll provide that to some of our customers that are asking for it. Again, it's another one of those things that people are becoming more aware of the benefits of straight pollen. So uh, let's see, we're going to be doing some cut comb this year, both for the jars as well as we're trying something new. We're going to do the hog half comb. Uh, I'll get some information together for the folks on where the hog half comb is so they can see that individually. And uh, 
most of you know already that we have branched out into some creamed honey, some lip balms, and some candles. So again, you do what you do, and you know we're going to try and um, do better with the, the products and expand our offerings to the public. Um, let's see here. After the honey flow, our intention is to do quite a few splits in anticipation of overwintering a, uh, a number of newts. If you can just kind of stick forward or stick stick with us on that one, I'll I'll have more information as we get down the road a little bit. Um, not to worry though, we'll try and handle that as as delicately as we can. I'm trying to do a better job with the marketing, so um, obviously you're going to see the camera out here. And we're going to be rifling through the hives uh, uh, and showing more of the inside of, of your homes. Um, again, just trying to do a little bit, mar a bit of marketing in that I want people to know that you guys are the stars and where all of the products that we're offering come from. And, you know, we can't do it without you. That's no joke. I'm going to get through my notes here. Oh, can you guys please do something with the hive beetles? Every time I open up, you got hive beetles in there. I can only do so much. You guys have got to police your homes. That's just the way it is. Get those little buggers out of there. Don't let them in. All right? You guys have to help me with this. Questions? I'll open up the floor to questions if anybody's got... Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, the, this is the new yard. The old yard is about probably three quarters of a mile that way um, you are we do have that yard still we're going to wind up actually putting some hives over there here and there but uh, the old yard is still there coincidentally I put out several swarm traps in that area um, there are swarm traps behind you there are swarm traps that way there are swarm traps over here there are swarm traps over that way so in the event that you just have to leave, um, please utilize one of the swarm traps we have provided. Although ideally it would be best if you guys didn't use those, you stayed in your current homes and we caught some neighbor's bees. That would be ideal. All right. Thank you. Um, what else have I got here from notes? Um, I don't have anything else. Uh, if you guys, I'll close out by saying drink lots of water. Uh, I want you guys well hydrated this year. It's going to get hot. You know, we, we already know it is because, I mean, it's springtime and, you know, we're three or four weeks early, apparently. So, you know, it's going to get hot this year. So keep on top of the water. And uh, for all of you that are new, stay out of my cup. All right. Thank you.